Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn how to test our view children decorator in Angular. So I have explained about view children and what is the purpose of view children in my Angular tutorial video. I'll provide the link in the description. Please watch that for better understanding. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. So here I have created a app component and inside that app component I have injected our child component three times with the same template reference. So let me zoom a bit. So now whenever you want to access this particular reference or a component by using its reference, we can use view child. But if you want to access multiple view childs at a time, we can go with view children. So instead of using a view child, I can access all these three child components at a time by using view children. So if you go to the TS, I am trying to access by using a view children decorator and that is pointing to your child ref. Whatever the child ref, the template reference which is matching with this keyword that will be injected onto our view children variable that is child refs. So this child refs is a variable which will hold all the three childs and let me go to the browser for a demo purpose. So let me go here and you have view child with components. These are the three childs which I have injected in my app component. When the user clicks on this button, change child component value. I'm trying to change each and every value with a counter value. So it should show one, it should show two, it should show three. So let me click here and you are seeing child one, child two, child three. And these are accessed by using the variable of each and every child. So let me reload and when the user clicks on access child methods, I will be trying to access all the methods of the child and whenever I click this particular button, the child method will be invoked and it will update your child title. So let me click here and this updated child method too. So this is the one which we have implemented by using view children in our angular tutorial for now we'll try to test these two scenarios when the user clicks on the component value then it will be changing all the values in the components that is nothing but a child components whenever i click on this particular child method access buttons it will access each and every method of the child and it will update the title value let me go into the visual studio code now to try the test cases, let me jump on to app.component.spec file and inside this spec file, let's write our test cases. So already I'm running the command ng test in one more terminal and this is showing one success because the child component is created successfully. So here what I'll do is I'll try to create a variable. Let fixture and this fixture is of component fixture and it is taking a type as app component and let me use an instance component instance and inside this it is a type of app component so i have created two variables and let me assign these two variables fixture is equal to test bed dot create component of what is the type of component app component and let me create an instance that is component instance by using this fixture fixture dot component instance so let me save this and this particular app component is dependent on the child component let me include the child component save this and now let me write the first case the first case is by clicking the first button so let me go to app.component.html inside this i am trying to click this button so for that sake let me create an id is equal to child underscore title underscore access so i am trying to access the title variable of our child so let me save this and go to the spec file here what i'll do is accessing child variable that is title on button click and it will give a callback function inside this callback function let me update the fixture first fixture dot detect changes and then whenever the fixture is stable then we'll get a callback function and inside this callback function let me access the button button colon html button element is equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my selector here it is an id let me copy this and prepend it with hash so now you are able to access the button so whenever the user clicks on the button then it will be invoking one function so let me go here and go to the ts and you can see here it will be invoking this 
change child title so this will be invoked so once the click event is triggered let me update the fixture again fixture dot detect changes and whenever the fixture is again stable then i'll be getting a promise and inside this promise i'll get a callback function so for inside this callback function i want to check my child title value so let me go to the child.html and let me create an id where i am using title underscore id so i want to access this paragraph so go here and try to access paras colon html paragraph element and let me access all the elements that is view child 1 view child 2 view child 3 so i'll use fixture dot debug element dot native element dot instead of accessing the query selector i'll use query selector all so that i can get all the paragraphs with this particular id that is nothing but a title id so let me use this and save this and go here save this now let me check or expect our paras so paras dot length should be equal to three why because we have three childs and it has been passed successfully so till here it's clear now let me expect one more thing something like expect of paras array so let me use zero dot inner html and that should be equal to two equal of the change title so the change title is something like go to the app.component.ts and you are seeing here previous title appending with one counter so for the first time it should be one and prepending with the title so what is my title here so if you go here this is my title copy this and paste here with a tilt and let me use a title hyphen and this title i'm trying to update by using the current title whatever the title we are passing and with a counter so my title is something related to the component title which is inside your child.ts if you go the previous value is child so let me use child and it should have one so let me save this now if you see here there is something happened so title hyphen child to equal of title hyphen child one so actual value is title child but we are expecting to be child one why it is not happening actually speaking the method itself is trying to call but it is not updating our child let's investigate on this so if you go to the app.component.html there are three children which has to be rendered and this may take some fractions of second so that means there will be an asynchronous content which is loading here and before loading this content itself i am trying to hit this button so that is the problem whenever there is an asynchronous data which is not even rendered and which we are trying to hit it it will invoke but it will not update the child's as they are in rendering state it is not rendered yet so in this situations what we can do is just go here and add one method called as await or one method called as wait for async so this is one method which will take one callback function and wherever the callback function is ended let me use there so let me save this what it will do is it will wait until all the asynchronous logic which is inside this content is executed once it is executed then you can expect all the values to be as usual so go here and it is disconnected let me go to the browser and let me reload this so that it will reconnect and now it has been passed so let's understand about wait for async wait for async is a method which will take one function and whatever the asynchronous functions which are going inside this wait for async it will wait until all the asynchronous functions are executed once all the asynchronous functions are executed it starts executing all these remaining statements so that is the reason it is getting all the updated values and our test cases has been passed so now the second scenario is again let me use it and in this accessing child para using a method of child and let me use a callback function inside this callback function let me update the fixture fixture dot detect changes and fixture dot when stable whenever it is stable then we'll be getting a promise and inside this promise i'll be getting a callback function inside the callback function what i want to do is i, I want to access this method first so let me access the button that is nothing but a method underscore access 
so I'm using an ID called as method access. Let me save this and go to the spec file. Let me use const btn colon html element that is nothing but a button element and it is only one so let me use fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of i'm using only one selector so i'm using only query selector here and hash as it is an id i'm prepending with hash now you got the button let me click this button so click event happened and here let me update my fixture fixture dot detect changes and once the detect changes are done let me check whenever it is stable or not when it is stable then i'll be getting a callback function inside the callback function what i want to do is once the function is executed that means if you go to the app.component.html this will call access child methods and if you go to the access child methods inside your app.component.ts it is updating the child method title only whenever it is divisible by two that means only even child selectors has to be updated so that we will be checking inside this spec file so here let me use const paras colon HTML para elements which is an array so I'll try to access all the paragraph elements so fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of a method which is prepending with hash go to the child component title id copy this and paste here so i'll be getting all the paragraphs and this time our expectation is expect of paras dot length should be equal to two equal of three because we have only three selectors now what i want to do is i am trying to expect one more thing some, something like expect of paras of zero dot title inner html dot two equal of let me use a template string go here and copy this first and paste here the first one will not update and it will have the default value that is child this is our expectation and the second expectation is it is similar to the same expectation copy this and paste here but this time it is having a child of two the counter should be two and the last one is an odd number of selector so it should not have anything and it should have only the default value that is nothing but a child so let me save this all this will be failed why because again we are trying to execute this function before our asynchronous content is executed so let me use wait for async method and paste all the logic inside this function and let me save this now it has been failed one failed two success so let me check why it is getting failed so here let me go here and accessing the child para using the method of child failed so that is expected undefined to equal three so let me check that why it is giving undefined paras of zero you will be getting an inner html and that should be equal to title oh got it so if you go to the app.component.ts there is something called as method so every title should have a method with a counter value so let me copy this method and it is only updating the second value so child space method space counter value save this and let me check one more time why it is failing expected undefined to three why because the paras whatever we are getting it is giving undefined so why it's giving undefined because of title selector all so you need to have a selector all so that it will return an array so now you can check three has been successfully passed let me save this and you can see the three all are successfully passed we are checking all the three values and only the value which is divisible by two that means only even view children's are getting updated and all children's are as usual so the same strategy you can check here for all the remaining two Childs and this will be something like two and this will be something like three save this and it has been failed why because it is the first value it is the second value save this and now all the three has been successfully passed this is how you can check your view children and you can test your view children's in our angular application hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you and also, I want to let you know about TechZet. TechZet is a platform on Medium 
where you can learn all the backend stuff. Mainly it is focused on the Adobe experience management, Magento as well as OSGI along with the basics of Java and you can see this link framework completely. So just have a click on the link below in the description and have a look on this Medium blog. If you like, please like, share, follow Medium blog.